Could a new player break up the sushi and soy sauce dream team? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. When it comes to sushi, it feels like soy sauce is an absolute must. Actually, when it comes to sushi, I have a couple of more musts uh, than just that. Okay, let's hear them. Um, it must have no seaweed. Okay. Must have no fish eggs. Uh huh. Must be in the mood for it. Okay. Must not be the one paying for it. All right. Pretty normal stuff. Okay. Well, all those musts aside, <laughs> get your musts aside. <laughs> <laughs> Could there actually be so, like your must? It's like especially you get your must. It's like musty, you know. Like keep it away from me. Yeah, you know, okay. musty. I mean, it's like you know. I'll keep it aside. Yeah, all must aside. Could there actually be something better lurking in the sushi dipping shadows? It's time for next best thing: sushi and soy sauce edition. We're gonna try some spicy tuna rolls with some less than traditional ingredients to dip them in to see what works best when soy sauce ain't available. But before we make some new discoveries, let's remember what the original tastes like. And thank you for not going with the um, with the seaweed, but you went Thank with, you for going with the seaweed. With the soy, because it's salty, you know? It's exactly what you need just to get a little A little of that good, good it's on perfect, it. perfect, man. But they'll put some weird stuff on sushi these days. I mean, so they'll put some like spicy mayonnaise, mm. all kinds of stuff that would make a sushi chef roll over in his grave. Well, we're gonna make him dead. roll over twice. Yeah. We're starting out with a little something kind of sweet. That, I would have thought that somebody would have done this before because it feels so obvious to use sweet chili sauce sweet on chili sushi. chili sauce. But, I've never done it. Is there something that's just been out there for the getting all this time? I've never done it either, my friend, but someone's done it. It was like a mythical crew taste test. And, oh, no, 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 don't lose it. That's too much. To decide what has a fighting chance. It's not too much. You can actually be pretty liberal with this stuff. Hmm. That is quite tasty. I see that you're already pacing yourself, which is smart. Yeah. Woo! There's, you know what? It's it's nothing, sweet. Nothing wrong with that at spicy. all. Spicy. Wow. It's a little chilly. That's good. I mean, I I think we've got to we got to move that to be the next best thing. Yeah. So whatever was up there before I looked, it's gone now. Cause sweet chili sauce is gonna be hard to top. That's a contender, friender. Yeah, man. Pickle juice. Pickle man. juice. People love to like surprise you with, and you know. It's good on pickle juice. Or, and you know, I'm brined in pickle juice. Or, and you know. Oh, yeah, you're talking about my chicken. Yeah. Your ch no. You're talking your, about my chicken? Your chicken is one of those things. Are you talking about my chicken that I brined in pickle juice? But pickle juice. Have you is, ever had, had better chicken? <laughs> some people, I mean, there's like homeopathic people. Yes. Who will just sense that you need some pickle juice in your life? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I've met plenty of those. See, I've dipped that side of it, and I don't want to eat the whole thing. I so double dipped. Gotta... I'm gonna try to pace myself too, Link. How, how'd you do that? I just kind of dipped it and bit it. Mm. That didn't really work. It's weird. It's no sweet chili, okay? But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It almost, I mean, obviously it's vinegar, right? There's vinegar is, I guess, the main ingredient in pickle juice. That's a good point. And you've got like rice vinegar that you, that, that you put into lots of Asian dishes, but I've never put it on sushi. And before. it really, why is it burning so much in my mouth? I put something in it. Is that because of the sweet chili from the previous round? I poisoned you. No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Ah. You can't do that on YouTube. You get in trouble if you do that on YouTube. If you really like pickle juice and you really like sushi, I recommend putting them together. I don't think it can top What's already up there? No, but you just want a pickle? No. Later. I want a pickle later. Later. Pickle, hey. Parking lot pickle, me and you. Parking lot pickle? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be our new thing. What a, hey, y'all gonna be showing it to work. We're gonna be having What are Link doing? Oh, just having a parking lot pickle. Parking lot pickle. Nothing to see here. No, you're We're not right invited. Along. It's just an us thing. If you see them doing that parking lot pickle, just keep on keep driving. On driving. Ranch is the uh, condiment that is almost always welcomed. You know what I'm saying? And 
Listen, Don't argue with ranch. Ranch is great, but specifically Wingstop Ranch, in our experience, it might be the best ranch. And y'all wanted to set it up for success. I mean, there's a redneck sauce, that Japanese, what we call redneck sauce. It's the sauce that I really doubt they ever actually put on anything in Japan, but right. if you go to like a sushi restaurant in America, there's that, basically it's a mayonnaise based sauce. So that similar to this. Throw it on everything. That's good stuff. You know, douse your hibachi, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's great. I, um, I think it tastes pretty dang good, but it's so strong. Yeah, that it tastes just like ranch with some rice on it. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't. It's too much. I feel like I'm not getting the complimentary nature that I was getting with the sweet chili sauce. I'm still tasting fish. So that was not my back; it was my chair. Wow. Yeah, but can it was. You, can you move your toes, dude? It was better. It was better than I was thinking it was going to be. I'll tell you what. I, did, I immediately didn't like it. What wasn't better than I thought it was going to be? And not to. I love Wingstop. You know that. Wingstop turned all of their stuff into. They can do sandwiches now. They did. They have Wingstop really? sandwiches that have all the different seasonings. Oh, like a chick. Oh. I, I was just a chicken like, sandwich, but you can get any of the seasoning that you can put on the wings. You can get it on a sandwich. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I don't know. If it was a. It was like a short time promotional, like limited time thing. But I got one, and I got it with the hot buffalo, which is my favorite sauce, and it left a lot to be desired. Oh, that's shame. It sad. really did. It was just as a chick as the chicken. Listen. The chicken was too small. Just not living up to the the hype of the. The rest chicken of the... was too small. The it chicken did... breast. So the actual chicken it came from was too small. I don't want to judge the chicken. I'm just saying that I just feel like it wasn't as good of a cut of meat. This is not as That's good not the, of a thing as the sweet chili sauce. It, sweet chili sauce, man. I'll be real surprised if we can if we can deep. Who would have thought ranch wouldn't work that well? Mm. Hey, we wanted you to check out our new geometric collection. This is renderings of the GMM flame in geometric. Well, renderings. How just many like, times do I have to say renderings for like you to this, believe me? Just like this. Hoodies, joggers, this t-shirt. Oh, man. Check oh, it out. Oh, man. Mythical.com. What, what, what do they got us trying now, Rhett? Uh, this is exciting to me because this is one of my favorite little additions. You gotta always have pickled jalapenos in your fridge if you know what's up. Oh, really? But we're talking about for what? the juice. What do you put them on? Everything? Everything. Sandwiches? Yes. Pizza? Yes. Uh, eggs? Yes. Cereals? No. Uh, I don't know. Steaks? Yes. Anything savory, man. It's real good. And they're and when they're pickled, it takes all the burn out. It takes all the burn. So they're Does really, it? Yeah. They're they're spicy, but not uncomfortably spicy. You know what I mean? And I think the flavor is that much better. I don't want to go too hard with this. Oh my gosh. I want you to open your mind up to the possibilities here, okay? I didn't go too hard with it. You're right, it's not spicy. It, it's the right kind of spice. I'll go in again. Now, first of all- Don't you a, reprimand me. A lot of sushi places have uh, several specialty rolls that will have jalapeno on top of them, right? And I get the ones with the raw jalapenos on it. Mm. And I like them, but there, there's something about the, the pickled nature of this thing, because again, I think you get some vinegar, right? So- yeah. Yeah, you've got the jalapeno peppers and then you've got the distilled vinegar and sea salt. You're trying to you're trying to get rid of this puppy. Well, here, here's what I'll say. This is exquisite. I mean, the sweet chili sauce is wonderful and it feels like, why hasn't this been done before? But this kept the sushi uh, flavor intact in a way that was like, it was just like complimenting it in a way that soy sauce does. Compliments it without trying to be the center of the, the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yep, just like me. Exactly, just like, that's how I would describe you. your personality. Right, I think you're doing a great job yeah, yeah. At, at at making an argument here. Um, here, throw it up there, man. Throw it up, see how it looks. See if it looks as good as you think it will. Well, yeah. It, whoop, yep, it did. That's nice. I mean, for a guy who doesn't care too much about sliced hot jalapeno peppers, I gotta give it to him. You they, doing it? They really up the ante. If you like spicy and you don't want to go with the go raw, you know, go uh, with the pickle juice. From Can the, it be topped? Jalapeno. Maybe. 
The balsamic vinegar certainly looks like soy sauce. Yes. Hey, what, uh, and we've talked enough about vinegar to know that it has its place at the table. Before we try this, I do. I want to touch base on parking lot pickle later on. Uh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I am picturing us sharing one pickle. Bite and give, bite and give. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what makes it a friend activity. Right, right, yep. And but we're not the, biting the opposite ends. We're biting the same end. Why does that matter? I'm just saying it may, it's more friendly. Well, what, there's something about meeting in the middle that's that represents something. Who gets the last bite? Exactly. Hmm. It's like a wishbone. Hmm. Parking lot pickles like a wishbone. We're slowly eating it, but it right. ends and it gets to the end, and whoever's bite it is is the winner. No, it's, parking lot pickles it, like it's a not a competition. Bone. It's you're biting, and when you get down to the end, it's like who's the better friend? You're like, and you're trying to take a little sliver off of it and still have a little bit for the other person to yeah, but to bite in, and give. In a way, parking lot pickle is like a squish bone. <laughs> In a way, it is. In a, right. in a way, I, in just, way I just wanted to put a disclaimer that you're not talking about the the version that's on Urban Dictionary because uh, I've just looked that up. Parking lot pickle. <laughs> and so, well, just not to be confused. Not to. Well, not does it involve two friends? Uh, yeah, yeah, friends. <laughs> Are you? You're, hold Maybe on. we're talking about the same thing. Hold on, it's not really on. Are you? Dude. You're shocked with the idea that that is something. Parking lot pickle is a friendship game. It's it's it's, it's, like, a, it's, it's like a wishbone. It's a slightly slightly different version that I'm not gonna say. Okay, look, here, add, can you add a new definition? <laughs> Parking lot pickle is like a wishbone in a way, but for friends. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh god. Um, oh god. You I ruined it. This is um. How do you take such small bites? You're gonna be good with that pickle later. <laughs> this is tough. I know. How do you? How do you take bites of your, oh, because you don't have the seaweed. That's why you're able to do this. Well, there's soy paper in there. Yeah, soy it's paper. It's not like not there's a, nothing. Soy paper is not as strong as seaweed. You can build a bridge out of seaweed. Yeah, I'm a soy paper man, but I mean, I do think I deserve the first bite of the parking lot pickle just because, look at how much sushi I'm eating. I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of you. There was a day you, years ago where I wouldn't have even touched this stuff. This I'll give you the first two bites. No, it's bite oh, and bite, give. Yeah, bite give. What do you think of this? It's because not bite, bite, give. I'm 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 more than fine with this. It's not bite, bite, give. It's bite, uh, give. Bite and give. I what? Uh, this Were vinegar. You about, yeah, I, I don't think it works. No, I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's too strong. It's easily not the revelation that we thought this was. It's too strong. But Chase said, "Give it a give it some thought." Well, I've been told that mythical chef Nicole. Uh, approached a uh, unidentified tub of this <laughs> while they were eating sushi. Did not know it wasn't uh, like soy or, or or something like that. Oh, and ate a bunch of it and was like, "It's delicious." Ah, uh, so it's one of those accidental culinary things. Boom, just a little dip. I think it's more than fine because of the vinegarness of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it doesn't have the pepperness of it of that. So we got to keep it the jalapeno pepper, man. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I don't think it dethrones it. No, it don't. You know, I don't like to disagree with just Nicole. Get, just get it out of here. Nicole's not here right now. That's right, right, V? She's not here. Nope. Who's in charge? Me. <laughs> That's right. What is this, New Year's Eve for children? Yeah, right. We got some sparkling cider here, which is basically spicy apple juice. Yeah, I love this stuff, man. This is the ones where uh, if you get it in the apple-shaped plastic individual bottle, and if you bite that, it sounds like you're biting into an apple? Yes. Yeah. Are we gonna have a beverage at pickle time? Uh, is there a beverage that comes with it, or is it just a pickle? Pi you calling it pickle time? Well, no, we're probably it's not pickle time. Don't look that up on... It's parking lot pickle. Parking lot pickle. Parking lot pickle, there's no beverage. The it's beverage just, is the juice of the pickle. The beverage is the juice of the pickle. Yeah. yeah, pickle juice. Pickle juice is what they call it. It can be our smoke break, you know? It's like we don't well, that's smoke. what I was thinking. We just need to go out there and park a lot pickle. I, you know, I think it's when, I think maybe it's 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 not just something we do every, at the end of every day, which that's the first thing. It's also something we do when we can't really agree on something. When we've come to what they call an impasse. Okay, so you're, you're really trying to go f like decision making, um, Pulling apart a wishbone type thing? I'm saying if you think one way, 
I think another way, we both are making great points, can't come to a decision, parking lot pickle. Bite give, bite give, bite give, bite give. But then you're gonna wanna take big bites in order to win. You gotta take the same type bite every time. It, th that's an argument within an argument. This just needs to be something that's just gentlemanly fun, just boys on some asphalt chomping on a pickle. Like let's boys not boys on some asphalt chomping on a pickle. Chomping on a pickle. In a way, it is like a wishbone. Man. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be shy this time. I am really gonna do a dousy douse. Uh, I didn't. This is so weird. I didn't really like what this did for me. It's too sweet. It's apple juice, guys. I mean, let's just be real. You're dipping no. your sushi in apple juice. Just because it's fancy and it's got like a, a name like Martinelli's doesn't mean you're still good. It's tough. It's, t it's tough to say anything positive about that. Yeah. V, did you like this? I loved it. Oh, really? Get, tell me something. Tell me understand. It's kind of tough. If you like apple juice, then you'll like this. <laughs> no. Um, uh uh. No, it doesn't work. I feel Nothing like it's it works. too. Um, Bring Nicole in here. Too contradictory. She liked it too. Nicole. Nicole, wherever you are, huddled up in hiding in some dark recess of your culinary fears, know that we're coming for you. Yikes. <laughs> now I'm thinking about this one differently because cocktail sauce is already a compliment to shrimp, which is a uh, seafood, which yeah. is like tuna, which is also a seafood. But before we taste this, yeah, uh, I want you to, just on the count of three, I want you to hold up how long you think a pickle it's gonna be that we're gonna eat this afternoon. Okay? Okay. Just, but like, do like, like with two hands, like a fish, this is how big the pickle is gonna be. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Why's your pickle? You don't. You don't say, say that. Ask me. You're not gonna get oh, yeah, a pickle. I, 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 You're not gonna finish get that it. sentence. Finish that sentence. I'm not gonna ask you why is your pickle so long. <laughs> you almost that, did. That was, <laughs> you almost. That did. was the whole point of that. Yeah. Because you knew I would ask you why is your pickle so long. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Pickles aren't that long. You, you'd be lucky to get a pickle that long. I don't know what garden you're looking in. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you ever put been to a gas station. And you gotta one of those be able to put it in a can, man. You gotta be able to put it in a jar. Well, you man. gotta be able to like, fit it in your hand. Listen, the bigger the pickle, the longer the pickle time. Every every <laughs> other, or the bigger the bites. <laughs> the bigger the pickle, the longer the parking lot pickle time. The long, <laughs> well, it's more the longer the Stevie pickle. Stevie has just stopped responding. The longer point. the pickle, the longer the par the the longer the pickle, the longer the parking lot pickle time. I'm just taking notes so that I can update the interview. <laughs> right, you're, you're nose down in Parking the computer. Pickle. So th this has got a fighting chance. The length of the pickle is directly proportional to the parking lot pickle time. Mm -hmm. Inversely proportional to bite size. There's nothing bad about this. It almost worked for a second. But I don't, it makes me think I should be eating a shrimp. Maybe you should be. I don't think I put cocktail sauce on anything, well, the only other thing I put cocktail sauce on besides a shrimp is crab cakes. Really? And that's it. It doesn't go here. It doesn't belong here. It doesn't belong here. This is one of my favorite uh, next best thing ever because I feel like we discovered a lot of things that could work. And yeah, the uh, the, the, the chili oil the vinegar. or the, the sweet chili sauce, yeah, revelatory. The... But this right here, we Slice, got, we hot got, jalapeno. We, we have to clap, clap for it. All right, Try everybody. this and think about us Grab in the, the parking pickle. lot, gnawing on some pickles. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Becca. And I'm Kyle. And we're from Crowley, Texas. And this is our fried fish Fred from the Asian market. And it's, and it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Fred is a fish of few words. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was gonna talk yeah. to us. Uh, click the top link to watch us discuss what foods taste better when you make them wrong and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality's gonna land. <laughs> It's hip to be square or triangular. Shop the new geometric logo collection available at mythical.com.